Hola muchachos, here we are with another game. I'm USSR playing Lorenzo. So we will open 4 for 1 and then we'll have a look at our hand because it doesn't matter too much. So Lorenzo slightly below opening. Big winning record is USSR, losing record is USA. So let's see if he can redress that against me. Um, I may hold you an intervention in case I get Marshall plan or something next turn. Although, of course, there's an advantage to holding De Gaulle if I can for next turn. I've got to do something about the Middle East. Opening Arab-Israeli war is probably the most attractive because then if I get a successful coup off on Iran, yada, yada, yada. So let's open Arab-Israeli. Let's plug all my cards in, so I can work out what the hell I'm doing with my life. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That one. What else have we got? Formosa, Fidel, De Gaulle. Yep. Okay. Interesting. Didn't choose to open with Europe domination. One in Turkey means that obviously you may be able to creep back into the Middle East. Success. Phase one complete. So let's get a big old coup on Iran. That is an average size coup on Iran. So he'll count a coup. Let's hope he whiffs. He does not. <coughs> so I've got two choices here. I either use the China card, hold you an intervention in case I get CIA, but then I'm, I don't have D call or D style. Or I can risk a coup with De Gaulle, which I may whiff on anyway. I'm going to coup with the China card because I'm holding Middle East and scoring. I'm lucky I did. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been cleared out. So his next move is to play into Syria. Okay, so he's pushing for Europe domination. which we'll give, but we'll threaten in response. I expect to see him just drop Europe scoring if he has it here. He taps Syria, <coughs> which is sensible. Let's hope he loses the war. He does not. That's a bummer. So we're going to pop one in each of those and hope that he guns for Korean War. He drops Europe scoring, I drop Middle East in scoring. If he takes South Korea, I space Formosa. 
if he doesn't, I try and press for it. No, he's getting there first. I'm going to space Formosa. <clears throat> and I do not get off to space. So to apply maximum pressure, he could put one in South Korea and tap North Korea. But there's still decoy Vietnam revolts. D style in the deck. But Defectors hasn't gone. So let's see what he does. Yeah, just repairs. It's a slightly more bland option, but fine. Alright, so I get Asia scoring. But Defectors is a risk. And he's 50 50 to have it, so Captured Nazi Scientist is the safer headline. At least I got decol and D style, that's nice. So a headline captured Nazi. He contains. We'll open by cooing. We haven't seen duck and cover in five year plan yet, have we? So the issue with the issue with cooing is that he can then walk into Malaysia, but I can't get military ops any other way because my war cards have been. So what's the options? I could put four, two in Afghanistan, two in Pakistan to dominate. If he coos Iran, I can then de-stall to take Thailand and press into South America. The issue is if I just, if I don't immediately play decol into Asia, he can press in. But if I decol, I need to play to Burma to get to India, and if he coups successfully on Iran, he can get to Pakistan, and we end up deadlocked. <clears throat> and if I don't use decol to develop into Africa, that's less efficient, I suppose? So options. If he's got Indo-Pakistani war, he's going to get his mil ops anyway. I'm going to start by decolonizing. And I'm going to do it like so to get a bit of access into Africa. Tell me if you think that is a major gaffe. I say he's cooing on a rum. He wants the access. 
that's a result for me. That is a huge result. The issue with that is that he Okay, right, so I'm probably overthinking this. He then needs to play into Japan, US Japan having been. Let's do that for now. I'm going to be looking to space Nord if I can. Pretty much needs to play in Japan to to prevent Asia domination. So he may just give up on Asia domination and push into Angola. It's hard for me to ops war with him because of the uh, containment issue. The problem is there's several things I want to do. If he breaks Asia domination, I can still use D-Style to press the case elsewhere. Giving out the China card is a decent result. <coughs> so the issue here is, is simply that I can't risk Indo-Pakistani war. I don't have the ops to defend against it. I'm better off dropping Asia scoring than I am racing. And I want to play D style before Truman. So I'm just going to drop Asia scoring for nil. I got the China card back, that's a bonus. Tempo-wise, I'd expect to see him try and get off to space here. Although, if he's under containment, he may blockade away something. I need to end the round by overprotecting Thailand. And he's going to pressure it. So I have to accept the fact that NORAD... is going to come into play, uh, which also means I need to overprotect anyway. Frustrating.
Yep, so he takes the Norad option. We will destyle away. Mm, I might destyle away Malaysia rather than Syria, just because that's I don't want to give him an easy presence. We'll go Angola, Nigeria, Venezuela, Argentina. And then we use Truman Doctrine. If he doesn't play into Burma, to shield there. Because we don't want him walking into India. Although I can always push into Afghanistan with my one op. Which is probably a better option. <sighs> Not enamoured by this start. with that. Right, we're going to use Truman to put another one in Thailand, because I expect that's where his DEFCON 2 op would go. Gets Truman out the deck. Hasn't been tracking stuff properly. He may space away NASA or something here while well, he can. NASA blockade or Romania. I would be okay with that. Let's put him under the most pressure by blocking Canada, because that means he's got to use two of his ops to refill it for NORAD. That only gives him two ops to play with elsewhere. Overprotecting is good. He really should have walked into Burma there, in my opinion. So I've got duck and cover and defectors. I could purge him while he's holding blockade. I've got Eastern European rest. He does have Indo-Pakistani war, so we have to watch out for that. I've got Olympic Games and Warsaw Pact. Yeah, so he's got blockade, Romania and NASA. Comic-Con and Vietnam Revolts. So I get Purge back. Arab-Israeli War and Formosa. So Purge is very attractive. Even though it uses up a fair few ops. So we'll go with that. He's ditching CIA. I am okay with that. So, cooing on Angola. Is his first step. Okay. I mean, that's fine for me from an access point of view again.
Uh, we'll play into Iran to give us domination and access. And into Burma to make his life a bit more difficult. We want to play Eastern European unrest before we get Romanian abdication off, really. Just to try and gain an op. If he plays into Israel, we event Arab-Israeli war. And we know he's holding Nasser. We're obviously spacing duck and cover. We know he's got Vietnam revolts, which he can't space as well. Okay, so he's starting to press into Africa. And he gets Comic-Con off before I get Eastern European unrest off, unfortunately. So he's unlikely to hold Asia scoring, or he would have dropped it by now. So I'm going to take that as a signal to start filling up South America. I don't really want to event Formosa before I see Indo-Pakistani war leave his hand because I don't want to give him 3-2 domination I do hope he events Vietnam as well because at the moment Thailand is very juicily brush warable I kind of want to put 2 in South Africa, 1 in Zaire 2 in Brazil and 3 in Chile as well which is starting to get a bit tricksy. Don't know why ever protecting Algeria is a must there. So now the question is whether I I get fancy and flip Lao while I've got the advantage. That turns a 50-50 into third, but I should be consolidating my South America position, really. So I'm going to do that. Although I'm going to struggle to get there without using the China card. Since I need to event Arab-Israeli war for my mill ops. So we're waiting to find out what one other card he has. He's, we've got Indo-Pakistani war blockade, Romania, NASA. Here's Romania. Oh, powerful. Well, now we'll just start a coup, counter-coup war. Because then I can get my cure off anyway. not particularly helpful for him. Man. I don't really like this. I'm going to space duck and cover. I'm not happy about how this is working out. Oh, that's nice at least. We're going to have to finish by venting 
Arab-Israeli war. Don't get the points for it. And he'll finish with Indo-Pakistani war. He may go for the mill ops. Because it's worth more than an op, even at 1 in 3. No, he, oh yeah, he goes for the coin in the Uruguay. It's not terrible. Alright, mid-war. I'm not super delighted about how this is going. With defectors gone and you an intervention in the deck, we will bury you is not particularly attractive. Cambridge 5 is alright. Camp David, I want a space, ideally. I'm going to have to hold OAS unless I get Brezhnev. Also want a space, John Paul. And I've got Africa scoring. Bleah. Let's go with the Cambridge 5, because we want to see what scoring card he holds, if any. He's going to puppet, but let's hope I can make use of where he moves. He may move into Pakistan or India. Libya and Saudi, Pakistan, India, Argentina slash Chile are all particu particularly likely. So he goes full on South America, and he has Asia and South America. That's perfect. Right, so we'll put one in Chile. We'll then use the China card. To play into Asia. And then if he gets a coup off in South America, I can take Chile slash Argentina. And we'll put him under pressure that way. Although I'm going to seed Milops doing that. I'll try and hold We Will Bury you for as long as possible in case he usurries me. If he straight four ops into Argentina and Chile, I'll take the coup on Argentina. I'd like to try and drop Africa scoring for domination, but that's going to be tricky too. Thankfully, I overprotected Venezuela rather than the other way around. Because obviously, a coup on Brazil is charmingly realignable. I now try and play Nixon. Yes, I drop it for 2vp, but I get out the deck. Now he's got the China card, and after Asia scoring's gone, I can drop Formosa. Of 
Because if he gets the coup off, he can break Pakistan thanks to NORAD. Or he can put one into Argentina, but obviously that's a bonus for me. Okay. That doesn't go off. And then he can put one in. He might put one in Iran. I don't have a coup target, do I? No. So commit my decision to not coup because I can't. Thanks, Playdeck. So I'm fine with one into Iran for the moment. He may choose to break Pakistan. If he plays into Argentina, I'm going to drop three into Chile. And then try and realign him. Again, not sure that's ideal for him. All right, we'll do that. And we'll try and realign him out of South America shortly. He may be pitching for a brush war on Pakistan, in which case I just take India and I accept Asia doesn't go for domination. Okay, we know he doesn't have Middle Eastern scoring, and that's an awfully plump realignment option. We'll, we'll try realigning. We'll give up two VPs to do it. No change. No change. Story of my life. Oh, well, nicely played. Just the three? Yeah. Sly dog. One into Libya before Sadat comes. Well, that's deeply frustrating. So we use Formosa to try and... Oh no, not try and realign him out of South Africa. We'll just play Formosa to dominate. Probably get Voice of America now. Or Yasuri. Well, that's galling. That's a large number of VPs I'm not going to see the back of. And now he's going for control of uh, Central America.
straight repair, so I'll drop up Africa domination. So Europe's looking pretty pretty sunk. A one in three brush war in Italy as things stand. Or a late war blockade are my best hopes. I'm gonna finish by spacing John Paul or Camp David to try and get to the two VP square. And I'm gonna ditch Milops again. Pakistan's already flippable with the China card anyway, so there's not really any point in offering access into the Middle East to shore up against that. And I may be able to drop DEFCON in the headline. I'm just going to space. I mean, at this point, Asia scoring's been and gone, and I don't get off to space. Well, everything's coming up roses so far this game. So I'm hoping for Junta in the headline so that I can repair and don't set off NORAD. Junta or, Junta or Kogmar, I guess. It has been very vexing this turn. Very vexing indeed. Iron Day for good measure. Another one in Korea. So I can A B I could do an intervention away OAS. And I could sort something troublesome. I could headline Latin American death squads, but that's a bit <laughs> bland. Eventing Fidel at some point obviously is attractive. ABM's good if I fear missile MV. Then I have to give him salt and he could purge me. <laughs> Not a cheery one offers. Well, headline ABM. And now, if he wants to, he gets a cure off in there. Headline. That's good. If he plays it, I get Fidel. If he returns it, I don't. If he sends it off to space, I at least have a foothold in Central America. And if he cues in the headline, I can repair. Gives it back. Okay, it looks like he's got Middle East scoring from that play. So we're going to do that. And then he has to use the China card to take India. If he realigns me out of Mexico, I might event Fidel just to keep the pressure up. OK, 
Okay, he's going to start there. Third time. Oh, bonus. So, I guess the event, no, no, no. He's got the China card. What we're going to do is take India to maintain domination. We'll put pressure on Iraq and we'll let him keep realigning. Eventing Fidel just means he has two realignment targets. Normal reason not to do it. We'll space John Paul. Space Bear Trap. UN Intervention OAS to get out of the hand. Accept independent Reds of Romania. And hopefully event Fidel. That's our plan for the turn. Because the alternative is you an interventioning bear trap, but then giving you OAS. Well, he's pressing in Middle East, so maybe the important thing to do is try and deny domination there. He's making link make decisions, which is good for him. Kudos. What kind of signal he's got Middle Eastern scoring? That's the problem. We'll pop two into Saudi and basically say you have to choose between Saudi and Iraq. On. I'm still s still to score Europe against me for domination. The scoreline is not healthy. And I'm not going to be able to five your planet. So will you an intervention OAS? Will we do that now? At this point it doesn't matter massively. We'll start by spacing John Paul. I was thinking because I could do an intervention bear trap if I need the ops and then give up OAS, but that's singularly not good anyway. Yeah, so he is pushing for domination. That seals the deal there. Not really happy about this. He's been telegraphing, he's got. Oh man, I'm going to give up Fidel to level up the Middle East because I think he's strongly signaling that's what he's got. I'm not especially happy about that. I'm hoping he just taps one of mine and I can do an intervention OAS to put it back in. Although, of course, if he breaks me for domination again, I then have to trap myself. Okay, he spaces away Kogma. That's a bonus in inverted commas. 
Ah, oh, Ross Cosmos are just doing nothing for me. There's Sadat. I'll just put one into Egypt. And he gets to drop Middle East for domination. Yep. Oh well. Only so many battles I can fight. So he goes into the lead and not a moment too soon. But with Central America still to play, I'm going to headline Junta. Coup on Panama and try and brush war it. And press for a whole hope, hopeful heap. Although, of course, chances are he's not holding it. Oh, okay. Perfect. Perfect, pretty good. Right, we're going to accept the fact that socialist governments isn't going to do much help for me. We're going to try and get a brush war from Panama. Or are we? Is the is the five six on Italy a bigger swing? I guess not. Although you can get a boatload of rear lines off on me. Need to get Southeast Asia scoring off at some point. He may just try and go for a Buku. Oh, he's got VOA. Cripes. Okay, fair enough. I'll overtake North Korea. If he does realign me out of Cuba, I'll then press for the brush war on Panama just to stay in the hunt. But that will do for now. NATO's still in the deck, but so is nuclear test ban and flower power, as well as Muslim Rev. And Muslim Rev's coming out a bit late anyway. Space and colonial rear guards to start, then trying to get another space off before he spaces and prevents me from spacing to a turn. Got a lot to do elsewhere on the board as well. I need to play into Egypt before he does to even stay in the hunt. Unless I get Muslim Revolution, which is potentially a bonus. Indo-Pakistani war come back, potentially in the reshuffle, and Pakistan's fairly wide open. No, he gets to Egypt first. Alright, America's worth zero at the moment. I'll let him have it if he has it. We'll start by spacing, because he's not going to do a lot to Southeast Asia scoring. Oh, come on, Ross Cosmos. Talking about stalling on the launch pad. Oh, well, there's that. If 
finally. So we'll drop Southeast Asia and brush war Panama. Well, he's finding it a lot easier to space than I am. Uh, to some extent, I could event shuttle diplomacy. If I take Afghanistan. Because of the Middle East, I'm overrun anyway. And then I could hold Brezhnev to turn 7. Okay, so before he takes Costa Rica, I'll take Brush War on Panama. And that, of course, fails. Because that's how things have been running. So yeah, I think I'm going to take Afghanistan with shuttle diplomacy. Blah. Taiwan with shuttle diplomacy, so that I don't go three three on shuttle, and I'm going to hold Brezhnev. So in the reshuffle, I'm basically hoping to get South America and Africa for the first time, because I am massively up against it. And if he realigns me out of Cuba AR6, I'm totally sunk. Okay, so he gets domination in Central America. Happy days. So that's an option. Cancelling the Cuban Missile Crisis to coup on... Well, that's it. That just gives him access. I suppose that's another option. And let's hope he doesn't see Taiwan. So if he coups Haiti, he's not got Central America this turn. At least Fidel's still in the deck. Things are not going great. Okay, so he's just pumping Korea. At least I get Junta, which is the most attractive headline. And then I can realign or retake Korea. If he drops DEFCON in the headline, I've got other options, but at least this stops NORAD going off again. OPEX worth virtually nothing. So he's got nuclear test ban and Australia. He's got lone gunman at least. And Muslim Revolution and Cultural Revolution. So he's got a ton of four op cards. Oh, nice for him to headline that. kitchen debates. And there has been a reshuffle because I've got grain sales which I'm going to need to space. So he's dropped South African unrest so we don't know one of his cards. Uh, take the coup on Panama and then overload. Requires a big score. 
but it's the only way I'm going to get access to cause a lot of trouble, isn't it? It fails badly. We drop the China card because he can then give it back with Cultural Revolution. Although he'll be able to use a 4-op card to take North Korea. But if he does that, I cure Nicaragua. To dominate. Yeah. Oh well. So much for that. Let's use OPEC to make absolutely damn sure. So he's got Muslim Revolution, which he doesn't want to play. Nuclear Test Ban, which he can play whenever he likes. Cultural Revolution, only if he wants to give the China card back. So a coup on Haiti seems like the likeliest thing here. And it's massive, of course. So we'll use Kitchen Debates to pop one in Guatemala. And I may have to use Brezhnev now to cover the Philippines. At least Camp David hasn't gone off. If I'm really lucky, he rolls a six. No. We'll use Brezhnev to coup. Let's keep him bogged down. That's not bad. So Arab Israeli war is on. So we know he's got Muslim nuclear cultural summit, which he may coup with. And lone gunman, which he won't. Unless I can persuade him. So let's hope he coups Nicaragua with Summit and whiffs. Whistle for the devil. Small mercies, my friend. He's got nuclear test ban to do a lot of damage with. Obviously dominating in Asia. Is a distinct possibility. I need to, to space grain sales, and I may use nuclear subs AR7, which of course he can do some damage with. Knowing he holds Lone Gum and emits an option, but not a particularly nice one. So I expect to see him use nuclear test ban and potentially cultural revolution. He may space cultural revolution because he's got lone gunman. He knows he's got to watch out for his hand size. Basically, I'm praying for a sympathetic scoring card to drop, turn 8. Africa, South America, not Middle East, Asia, Europe. And war games. Or to shorten his hand and cause him to lone gunman. Or, if he events Muslim Revolution, perhaps I can level up there. But let's see what he does first. He's overprotecting and tapping there. So we'll use how I learned to retake it. So I may have to use emit here. Or I might be able to invite him into a coup with Muslim Revolution. No. 
So he spaces Col Rev, not Dozy. So we'll space. Headline peaking is massive. If I'm going to space, that's a time. So now, of course, I'm going to be left with a whole bunch of Defcon droppers and no Aldrich. Right, so we'll kick him out of Iraq and Egypt. And hopefully he'll repair rather than wreak havoc in Asia or South America. Of course, if I'm lucky, it'll headline Lone Gunman without thinking about me peeking, and I do get a Defcon dropper, so maybe I do want one. Let's see what he does. Yeah, Mo moderate repair. Europe scoring is complete tripe. Although I can use socialist governments to break West Germany and drop it for nothing. If I'm lucky, headlines lone gunman here anyway, and I can kill the game off. Let's see what he headlines. Headlines OAS. So let's headline socialist governments and drop Europe scoring. See what he does. If he coos, he coos. And now NORAD won't trigger, and I can drop Europe scoring. I'm not super happy about this, but I can live with it. And if he drops war games, I might be able to salt it. One, two, three. Uh, emit nuclear. Libthy. Those are my remaining seven. If he coos on Brazil here, I'll take my rear lines. If he coos on Zaire, he's more likely to be holding Africa scoring. So, I want to hold salt. Do I want to offer in Brazil? I think I do. So I can get a rear line off and continue to press West Germany. So I'm actually going to do that, which is a bit of a gamble. But obviously I've got domination thanks to Uruguay. Liberation theology is not particularly attractive while he's in Colombia and Costa Rica because it's a big realignment risk. But I actually want a UN intervention our man in Tehran, really. Okay, so he's buying into the Ops War. I'm willing to offer the Middle East for an Ops War in Europe. Because I'm always going to be shut out of the Middle East at this rate. So 
So I feel like you and interventioning a mitt to make sure no bad cards leave my hand. And allowing nuclear subs AR7. That means not being able to sort war games if it drops later, which is kind of sucky. Um, um, <sighs> He blockades away the reformer, that's perfect. So do I salt? I guess I do. I want to keep the pressure up in Europe now, although tear down this wall is a nail in my coffin. It's a shame I can't shorten his hand further because he's going to be sitting on lone gunman again. So what's going on on the board? I'm lucky he hasn't spotted he can claim a cheap domination in Asia with shuttle diplomacy. It's only going to take him one op to work that out though. So that's problematic for me. I just want to kind of try and keep him busy elsewhere. We now don't know what he's holding except Lone Gunman. So depending on what he does, the rest of my turn is an op into West Germany and one into Brazil. You and intervention omit maybe coup Colombia for my mill ops. Obviously, also, if he takes Brazil, I need to coup Colombia to prevent the counter realignment. Oh, well, that's a joy, too. I give him Africa domination at this point, right? So I'll take West Germany. Pop one in Brazil. If he's got Africa domination, I can't do a lot. The scoring cards have certainly popped up at good time for him. At least we've cracked Europe for now. And we'll finish with a coup on Colombia, I guess. The situation is still not great. Now I've got the China card back, I'm really hoping for Aldrich to be certain. If he doesn't space this turn, at least I may get to peak next turn, of course. That's still useful. He 
he's going to quagmire himself. That's not bad. In which case, I will give him the two VP mill ops. Because he can't nuclear sub anything. And Norad is gone, that's a bonus. So what's his other card? Still in the trap next turn, that's a bonus. I got tear down this wall and duck and cover, that's a bonus. But I don't have any way of shortening his hand. Let's see if he headlines Lone Gunman. <laughs> I headline duck and cover in that case. A special relationship bin. Since the reshuffle, no. So NATO is currently not playable. And I have to hope I didn't get a hand shortened because tear down as well and duck and cover are both death gone suicide cards. Oh well, what a delight. He gets to steal three VP more. So we'll headline Miss L Envy and make him hand over a card and use Miss L Envy in the trap. What are we expecting to see? ABM, Purge, War Games, Cal. He, he couldn't. He could have headlined Cal, of course. Of course, now if he gets another space off, he's going to be able to. No, issue instant. Okay, so he he doesn't have any four op cards. So we're going to use duck and cover, and we're going to, are we going to fill up Japan? Seems like a good shout. Because now I can space tear down this wall and I don't need to worry about using the China card immediately. Let's hope he misses again. He does not. Of course, he didn't, um, use UN Japan for ops, so I could be getting myself in a lot of trouble here. But we know we can ops race him. keep our four op cards in the bank for now because I do want to take Iraq, Saudi Arabia and event Iranian hostage crisis as well so now we'll event NATO special relationships not currently triggering anyway
for now we'll keep pace with him because he's not doing anything else on the board I kind of want to invent Iranian hostage crisis in case I get terrorism. I'm still going to keep pace. Trouble is, I could be M playing myself with Defcon cards. Turn ten. If I get tear down this wall and I get, well, grain's gone, and duck and cover's gone, so maybe it's not so bad. It's still not necessarily great. Well, if he discards the one here, he loses, so I'm assuming he's not going to. Perfect. So we're going to wrap this up. And hope he drops the scoring card. say that it'll probably be Middle East. No, he wants he wants to discard lone gunman. I got lucky. So Pershing's gone, Latin American debt crisis is gone. Gone, gone, gone. He's holding lone gunman. Why just scoring's a bonus, Iranian hostage and terrorism is a a must. And I've got defectors. So let's do this. This oh no, I suppose there's a lot of Iranian hostages best because I shorten his hand. The game's over anyway. Asia scoring is not enough to put me above war games. So Iranian hostage, event terrorism, after I've cooed, pray that I don't spike lone gunman. Try and drop Asia scoring for domination and then hold out for final scoring as a fallback. But it's, yeah, disgustingly close. Okay, so he's dropping DEFCON anyway. So I can just respond to that. And Missile Ember's gone, so me holding war games isn't a problem. So let's just see where he puts the influence. Okay. Let's start with terrorism. No lone gunman. Oh, for goodness sake. Okay. Time to do the maths for final scoring. I need to drop Asia for domination. I need to take Israel and Saudi to level up the Middle East. Whoa, I need to stop zooming in so much because I don't know the controls. I 
of course. But now that means I'm under less pressure in Asia. Although I should probably still drop it. Israel, Saudi. Cover Chile and Argentina. Get some cooing off in Africa, maybe? I don't know. Oh, well, that's just an unending delight, isn't it? Now he has to choose between realigning Central America and protecting the Middle East. Well, I need to kind of press for this win because the scoring cards have gone against me more often than not. Terrorism pulled lone gunman. It's just been it's been cheap shots this game. Ah, well, if this is Mexico, I'm in big trouble. Oh, okay. Let's start cooing on Africa to give him other food for thought. Here it comes. One, two, three. There it is. We're going to take another coup on Zimbabwe. He should he should move on Cameroon here. Oh, he got lucky. Oh go. Right, we'll overprotect Mexico. And my AR7 I'm going to coup on Africa. I'd really like you to be holding South America scoring. Oh, Che's handy. <sighs> so I'm getting 16, 6, 14, 15, 0. I think overprotecting to get the full 8 VP. Oh no, wait. No. Pushing to dominate in the Middle East is worth 1 VP and is a bigger swing. Well, good game either way. Comment away. Let me know what you think. I feel like I did pretty much everything I bloody could there. And if he's got VOA, he's got VOA. Let me know where I could have played differently. 
my frustration was evident because things did not quite seem to rock and roll for me in space and in the cards, but I had a good old stab at it. VOA is definitely in the deck. Yeah, that would be a pretty big disaster. So what are we on at the moment? Six, nine, eight, nine, seven, fifteen, sixteen in my favour. So thirteen after twelve or thirteen. So you can swing your. Oh, you can't swing Europe with VOA. So that's fine. You can't remove me from Central America. He could drop South America to presence by taking out Uruguay and one from Argentina. There's no way he can swing Asia domination. But he can at least reduce it. But I think I still gain enough elsewhere. Well, I hope I've done enough. This macaron is like eating toothpaste, Jenny. We've got a mint flavour macaron here, and I'm not convinced that mint is an excellent... Let's try a bit and see what you think. The ganache is like eating Colgate. Isn't it? Not spectacular. Mm. I'm, I'm alright without the gingerbread one tonight. but Okay. Don't make mint macaron, people. Spare yourself the heartache. And now my tea tastes like mint tea, just for good measure. Well, Lorenzo's got four minutes here to solve the perfect puzzle. He can swing domination in Africa by removing a few things, I guess. But he can't, really, because they're all one, two stab places. So he can't swing Africa. He could swing Middle East by removing one from Iraq. Uh, no, I've got... Th he'd then have four, five. If he basically has to invest all of his VOA ops in one region. So I may have done enough to swing it. But it was a slog. He may as well just go on a realigning bender and hope for the best. Although even that's not exactly promising. Oh, he's got nothing. Yeah, does enough. Win by ten. All right, thanks for watching. Let me know what I could have done differently. Because by gum, that was tough. All right. Till next time, which is tomorrow. Um, thanks for watching.